And this is a Power Wheels Dune Racer, right on toy. Had a factory 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. Big heavy thing. This one we got was still pretty fresh, even though this is a used car. Um, this is my drill battery conversion. It looks a little uh, redneck engineered, but it's cheap and it works. So this is the factory harness here. This is an adapter cable for a sealed lead acid, just a regular alarm battery. I bought that on eBay, but instead of putting another sealed lead acid battery in there, I did uh, I did one of these. I already have some Craftsman tools, so I just got some bigger ones. And down here, the digital readout here, this is a low voltage switch. It shows you what the battery voltage is currently. And then in the case of this battery, the actual Craftsman tool shut off at about 13 volt. I ran it all the way down. That's when they shut off. So I set the low voltage limit at 13 volt here. So we'll shut these batteries off instead of uh, discharging them too far and potentially damaging them. They're a lithium polymer and I guess those are prone to that type of uh, issue. I have a speed control here. Um, it's just a cheap thing I got on Amazon and we keep it cranked. But for the littler kids we can slow it down. This is the battery. I bought a, a broken drill on eBay, hacked to the base off of it and then used that. Uh, there are some brands that have 3D printed bases available, but I couldn't find anything for this particular one. The wire is a little overkill for this battery. It's a um, 10 gauge, but I'm using it for the for the inline fuse on there. So the battery's fuse, and then there's another one that came with uh, the Power Wheels uh, wiring harness adapter. So it has two two 25 amp fuses in series. It's not really necessary to have them both, but. They're in there and I didn't want to cut them up. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to button it up and then uh, I can watch the kids go.